Hey folks, I uh, thought I'd share this with you. It's something I've never done before and we're playing with this year uh, with some side-by-side -side trials. I got a bioreactor over there that's, that's not doing this. That was an interesting idea I heard on John Kemp's podcast. And that idea was that if we were to grow plants in a bioreactor during the composting uh, uh, time, and you know, obviously waiting until after you got past the thermophilic cycle, and this is well past the thermophilic cycle. This is actually a bioreactor that was two of them combined together for space saving after uh, about 10 weeks. And uh, it did not kick in a second thermophilic cycle. And then I'm going to say I want another five weeks before I pop these cowpeas. And these are uh, heirloom cowpea, uh, not usually grown for consumption, more of a cover crop variety called Red Ripper. And uh, the theory is that we have some endoph endophytic uh, components in plants where there's actually uh, microorganisms we refer to as endophytes that, not just live on the surface of the plant, but actually can get into the plant and live in the plant. Now, whether or not this is the best plant to do that with, I'm not sure. I just happen to have um, some extra seed from some other stuff I was cover cropping and popped, you know, a couple dozen of them in here. And, and this is what it looks like. And I think what's really encouraging to me is this compost is far from done. This is a one-year process. And this compost at this point, we made it mid-January, so it's four or five months old. And I know what some of y'all are saying, well, if it ain't ready yet and you're growing on it, you're going to mess things up. All, all, all we can possibly do here uh, with this is increase uh, the microorganism activity. There is no way we're going to you know, cause a, a decline in that. Uh, I am going to have Tom add this as a bonus video to the composting course, but I'm going to put this one out publicly as well. I just want to say up front, if you're not familiar with this type of pot or this type of, uh, of composting, you, you might want to think before you try this approach to understand at least getting the compost done to a certain level and some other issues. This is not a high turn compost. This is you know, not your, your your Berkeley 21 or 28 day method or anything like that. This is a very long, slow, static pile method. And again, this is experimental. And we will do some trials side by side with compost that went the full duration with plant assist, I guess we would call it, and, and compost over here that didn't. But I just thought you'd find that interesting. And boy, I'll tell you what, that is some healthy looking cowpea right there, guys. And uh, before anybody asks, no, I, I did not inoculate this. I did, and if you do cowpea, a lot of people inoculate it and they use the wrong inoculum. Cowpea should actually be, the inoculum that's used for peanut is what should be used with cowpea, uh, not for uh, the inoculum that would get used typically for something like peas, regular peas or regular beans.